What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the internet. I'm your host, Michael Bartholomew, and I'm here with uh, Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg. I got nothing here. Jason Weinskopf there? Yeah, I think so. Kronhoff? I, I would be inclined to pick that if Jace wasn't in the pack. I think you're right. But well, he is in the pack. There so. are so many cards in this cube that make you that allow you to play Jace on turn two. Mana Vault, Mana Crypt, uh, Soul Ring. Ring, Black Lotus. God, if we get past the Soul Ring. Whew. I don't think that's ever happening, but we could still open one. I mean, I've seen people pass some pretty loose stuff. Oh, Takule has a stiff for us. Draft the best blue cards. Well, okay, well, guess we're doing that one. Sold. Oh. What the fudge? <laughs> Are you serious right now? I mean, the only thing I'd pick over an ancestral is a soul ring. So, okay. Stip is still alive, boys. <laughs> oh, God. Time walk third pick. Ooh, this is already the best cube draft we've had so far, so. Wow, dude. Second pick ancestral. Get out of my life. Or, or remain in my life forever because that's where you need to be. Lightning Greaves? No, JK, man. I was just kidding. That's just a little goof. I'm done with you. This pack's got a bunch of medium gems in it. Yogmoss Bargain is... Did you just totally steal this? I was no. like... I was like, God, it got real hot in here for a second. Yeah, it's real hot, man. It is hotter, doesn't it? What's it's our, what's our AC here. on, man? I think it's on 74. That's not too hot. I'm going to put that thing on 73. What's the pick here? I don't know. These all suck. <laughs> God. Is it Nick Bolas? For the flavor of being awesome, sure. I mean, we already got Jace. We can put Nicky B on here. I'm gonna take Nicky B. I don't think it's, I don't think it's actually worse than most of these other cards. No, it's fine. Although Moat might actually be the right pick. I don't like Moat because, well, it's it's early enough to build around Moat in this deck actually, and Moat just wins you wins you games. Yeah, Moat's um, broken. Oh, I like a Scalding Tarn, especially after we just took a Nicky B. I'd take Entomb. Go for the broken. Scalding Tarn's broken unless you cast your Ancestral Recall on your Jace and your Nicky B. Fair. That's broken as hell. This should be banned. Also, the thing I don't like... Oh, and then I was literally going to say, the thing I don't like about Entomb is that sometimes you never get to reanimate cards. I actually like Animate Dead because it targets your graveyard or their graveyard. It's also an opposition. This this is not looking like an opposition deck, though, right? You're right. The blue-green decks are the opposition decks. I'm thinking the Entomb might actually come back because th these drafters have been super weird. Look, dude, we just got past that Ancestor. Anything can happen. I mean, maybe they opened a Lotus? I don't know. I also think this is just fine. We kill their guy, we steal it. I don't know if I'd actually take... I think I'd take Recall over Lotus. I think I probably... Well, yeah, I think I probably would too, actually. I think Soul Ring I would take over Ancestral. Though. I think Recall is amazing on turn... turn In the early turns, and I'm not going to say turn one, because you you're you just going to have to discard, but it's good in the early turns, and it's good in the late turns, whereas Lotus is usually only good in the early turns. I think we need to find and murder the person who invented Glitter. Jesus, that's, that's aggressive. Glitter is pretty awful. It's like sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. <laughs> tell, me, tell me how you feel about sand, man. I <laughs> hate it. I hate sand. Oh, this pack is also good. I like Teferi here. I'll just take Tudor. I'm just destined to never play. To take it. No, it's have, fine. Have I think this is correct. I think you're correct. We can tutor for Ancestral or Jace. I think this is 100% correct. Maybe we'll come back. What, the Teferi? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two cards are coming back. I'm going to say Sweltering Suns and Goblin Welder. Those are my guesses. That's probably correct. I'm going to say Suns. Oh, dang it. That's not our color. I got excited. If it was a Teferi, it would have been our... Let's take Dark Ritual and hope we end up with a broken deck. It's basically a Black Lotus. Yeah. It's literally two... It's it's one mana shy of a Black Lotus. Which is really interesting if you think about it, because... It was it was legal for way longer. Or is off Signet's thing. We're not necessarily red here. Let's take Iona. I was thinking that too, actually. How do we get, the, how do we get things in the graveyard, though? We'll figure it out. 
God, you're... I mean, giving up... That's not a signet that's in our color, so I don't think we're giving up The much. black's in our color. Black. Also, if we get blue, blue signet, it helps us cast Jace on turn three, which I think yes. is really ideal. Also, we don't know if this is our color yet, right? 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 Yeah! Why is he being so weird? Nobody knows. Lotus Petal? Sword? It's gotta be sword, right? I don't know, man. We got one fetch. We can brainstorm. Oh, I can't tell if you're being serious right now. We already have Ancestral, man. And Jace, what more do you need? The more, the better. I think it's gotta be sword, right? We have no creatures, but okay. We're gonna get creatures. How do you win games of magic, bro? Jace the Mind Sculptor does that for you. Jeez. Or Nick of Bolas. I I'm not a big as big a brainstorm fan as other people are. I think it's good if you have enough fetches. Liliana. Yeah. Lyra. Banishing loot. I like Lyra better than I like Liliana. But I do more, too, actually. But I think we're more black though, so. I don't think that matters. We could be more Esper. But then what about this what about this bad bad Larry? Might just be looter or core. Actually I don't hate looter, but this doesn't strike me as a deck. Eh, it's a discard outlet. It's also really good with a sword. Alright, I took it. I took it. I took the loots. Are we an abyss deck? I don't think so. I think so. Do you? Yeah. What about our poor looter, man? Are you just gonna sacrifice him? We don't gotta play that. <laughs> Dang. I mean, we don't have to play the Abyss either. I just think it's the best card in the pack. Necrotal, Force and Legionnaire. I think Necrotal is a little better. Man, the blue dried up after our, after someone passed this Ancestral Recall. Yeah, I feel like we're getting cut pretty That's hard pretty here. funny. This is odd. It is really strange. Eh, Grim Tutors. All right, so it was Welder. I was halfway there. That's really strange. You're gonna pass ancestral. I guess. I guess it could be other one behind that person as well. True name and force of will, both are which. This is a gristle brand. There is a gristle brand. Is that better than a true name though? Honestly, Mike wins one cube draft and suddenly he's the expert. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think it's Force. What about Lava Claw Reaches? I don't think it's that either. I don't think so either. I think it's True Name or Gristlebrand. I think it's True Name or Gristlebrand as well, especially because we have Sword of Fire and Ice. I really want to take Gristlebrand. I thought Mike was wearing feathers like a mummer, but it's just a sheet behind him kind of upset. Feathers like a mummer? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What's a mummer? Is that like a mummy? I want to say I think it's Gristlebrand. Did you say Gristlebrand too? Yeah, I we can discard it with Looter and reanimate it. Yeah, boom. Hey, man, that entomb pick is haunting well, we us. All, we are. Um, we did just pass the Splinter Twin. So, oh yeah, we're not gonna play the same people. You're right. Never mind. Yeah, and also like. I'm not going to not take a good card for their deck just to hate a good card for our deck. Wait. No, you, you did it right. Something like that. Tevra and, Tevra and Lyra, what a time to be alive. And we picked neither, unfortunately. I think it's Exhum. Yeah. Really wish they had that on Tomb. I mean, we have no idea to do anything with that. Yet. Dang it, Sorcery. You could actually take it. What, is it, what are we going to do with it, though? We are just take three down or cast down or Venser, yeah. I like Venser. I like Thran Dynamo because we have Gristlebrand and Nickel Bolas. All right. And they both have three colorless, so it's not like we're taking this and unable to use it. I like Metamorph. Metamorph yeah, is just their best creature. This could be an upheaval deck. Just because of the Dynamo, though. We also have a signet. Finally made it. Hate to do this horrific thing. I was socializing people in. Oh God, I'm so sorry, man. Violated gorilla. I feel like you might have a feeling of violation right now. You think it's is a it metamorph? It's got to be metamorph, right? Yeah, sure. What if we copy our own Thrandine? Oh, Badlands. That's what we want, right? You get it with Tarn too. Which is yeah, nice. that's legit. We are, we are, we are for the net. 
I like a Karn. I also like Mox Diamond. We always get Sword of Body and Mind and... Uh, Why, wow, you like Mox Diamond, really? Yeah. It's pretty good. You gotta discard a land. Yeah, so? It's broken. Hmm. It's a Mox. And I wish I had a drink before this round. Yeah, you messed up. I did. I got, I, but I got a cold sun kissed in the fridge, too. You don't like Karn? Four mana Planeswalker? Also, Karn makes constructs, and we have a good amount of artifacts so far. Yeah, alright. Is that what sold you? Whatever, man. Shut up. You like Grim Tutor? It's literally a Demonic it's Tutor, okay. and they're like, we'll make it one more mana, and we'll they'll take three damage. It's okay. I think for now we play it. It's okay. How about this? Saki? You like Terminate? I think it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you like... <laughs> Was it the second time they got you? Yeah, it was the second time. You like wait, Elect Electrolyze or Terminate better? I kind of like Blink of an Eye here. Over Electrolyze and Terminate? Guys, I can't. I can only help him so much. Terminate and Electrolyze are really hard for us to cast right now. Blink of an Eye is four mana for the good part, and that's. I don't think it's actually that hard. I think we're gonna get more lands. That's what you think. You don't know. I don't. I guess in a world where we have perfect lands, I like Terminate better. All right, we'll Terminate. Mannequin? Yeah, let's take that. We already have Exhume and Animate Dead. Could take another target, take the Sphinx. How do we get things into the graveyard is my concern. I don't know. Jace, do we I don't know. Extra cards? Actually, we could probably cast this Turn. off of Orzhov's Signet, too. So I'm actually, I'll, I think... Always take the draw, discard our hand. Lava Claw reaches. Sure. Splinter Twin came back as well, which is pretty hilarious. Also, turn one Dark Ritual into Hypnotic Specter is pretty reasonable. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if that's the play. Old school. That feels better. I like that. Chrome Mox any good? I think it's better than... I, I'm just going to take this Deceiver X Arc. This is a value, dude. I think it's fine. We have swords. Mm. Nothing good here. Char, I guess? Sure. We could play Char. Yeah, we could. I mean, it's the removal spell. Whatever. Faithless Looting actually is... Faith Legion's really good. We should play that. That's a good way to get things in the yard. Did you say Faith Legion? Yeah. Faith Legion. Whatever, I'll take Kithian. Alright, last pick. Something good. Give me something good to eat. Eh. Eh. We have three eight drops right now, so we really need the discards. Shield Red. Bloodstained Mire is probably the pick here. I think Polluted Delta is a little bit better. Oh, that's true. I didn't actually see the Polluted Delta. <laughs> touche, touche. I didn't, I didn't, I stopped at Bloodstained Mire. Uh, yeah, it's not Force Spike, Empty the Warren, Skull Clamp, or Fumarole. Yeah, I think Delta is the pick easy. You don't think we want to wheels like what, Damnation? We'll probably play Damnation. I think if we will Damnation, I'd play Damnation, sure. Necromancy and Mana Leak. I think I like Necromancy better. Um, I don't know. We already have plenty of things to get things out of the yard. We just have two, right? That's enough. I mean, also, Thran Dynamo and Orzhov saying that definitely help us cast the other things. Yeah, I think it's Mana Leak, actually. This is not a creature we can reanimate, so we only have Sphinx and Gristlebrand to be reanimating anyway, so. Yeah, I like Mana Leak here. Also, Channel. That does anything for you. No, we already passed Emrakul. Damn. Treachery. That's a good one. That is a good one. I like this Dark Slick Shores and this Colagon's Command. As much as I like Treachery. Yeah, I do like Treachery more, I'll be honest with you. We also don't need five drops, which is interesting. <sighs> if only we took that Splinter Twin, man, we could have the Pester Mite. Mm -hmm. Fuck money, have a good night, buddy. So then you spend time with the family on Father's Day. Have a great rest of your night. You too, buddy. Enjoy your Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Shrimp Mine? A three color deck, it scares me. It's a frantic search that discards. Oh, yeah, that is good. Actually, let's take that's that. actually real good. Steam vents, yeah, sure. It's better than Chupacabra. We already have a Necrotol. I actually like, I think Charter Course is actually surprisingly good in this cube, sure. But I think Steam vents is a little better. I think it's true. It's it's uh, it's 
misleadingly good because you're like, oh, it's just a charter course. Wow. Draw two, discard one. But the discard is extremely relevant in the decks that want that card. This is actually 23 cards. Damn, I suck at this game. <laughs> I don't like Bizarre because it hits a land drop. And I think unless of your... It, it not only hits a land drop, but it's card disadvantage. You're drawing two, discarding three. So unless you're extremely dedicated... Um, like a, an extremely dedicated... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, reanimate deck. It's really hard to... To profit from... Take image. Yeah, I don't think it's recurring nightmare because you don't have enough early creatures. We have six creatures total right now. One of which is a Gristle Brand and the other is a Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Yeah, this deck is definitely... Uh, I, I'm, I'm concerned about our win conditions with this deck. I think Karn's negative two ability is actually going to be a win condition. Just one with Jace, no problem. My god. Arid Mesa gets Badlands and Scalding Tarn, actually. Mm -hmm. There's also a Muldrifter. I think I, I like think Muldrifter, Muldrifter here. Yeah. yeah, I like Muldrifter here better. Probably not playing High Sword. Is there Fire and Ice? I've seen Fire and I've seen Ice. You like you like, you like Grim Tutor, though? No, not really. Me neither. Mikey, what's your most OP commander deck in paper you own? I only own one, so I'm going to go with Jaleba. <laughs> it's a good choice. <laughs> Solid choice. I had a feeling you would. Seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I played Nickel Bolas and then I took your best threat. But I always thought that I'd ultimate again. That's a James Taylor song. Cool. <laughs> Good talk, man. Good talk. Why are you the way that you are? Why not? Oh, that's a good question. I didn't I didn't consider that. Is this our deck so far? Any changes? Nah. We got Ancestral and Jace, man. What more do you want? Black? Oh, what the fuck? Look at that late-ass Volcanic Island. It's also a Vraska's Contempt. I don't really care about Vraska's Contempt much. We have Metamorph, uh, Terminate, Treachery, and Necrotal to deal with creatures. Not yeah, including Nicobolas or Rask and Temp deals with Planeswalkers. Yeah, but I don't I don't think Planeswalker is that big of a deal in the cube. I think this Volcanic Island is not even close to the pick. Like it puts it we have Badlands, Steam Vents, Volcanic Island, Scalding Tarn, and Polluted Delta. Come on, don't be a little Mitch. Look, Wandering Fumeral is perfect, man. It's perfect. Guess we're gonna win with that. That is a win condition. I can hold a sword just as good as anybody. Actually, I like Gear Hulk here. Yeah, that's a good pickup for us. Surprisingly. We have to make a cut now, though. Do we cut Faithless Looting now that we have Frantic Search? Oh, Colagon's Command is definitely making the cut. You want to play Dark Confident on this deck? No. Okay, sounds good. I think we can cut Looting. We can really? also target ourselves with Colagon's Command to uh, to discard. Like, I mean, in a, in a pinch, you know, like, hey... I'm going to reanimate, so end of turn, I'll discard, you know, what have you. Wow. 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 Yeah, I'm just taking Pester. Dreadbore? Okay. I like Dreadbore better than Terminate. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I can see playing one over the other. What to start as watch your language? What did I say? Did I say something? Hmm. I don't know. But I always thought that I'd see you again. What um? All right, so we have to make three cuts now. Wow, that's that. This escalated. Life comes at you fast. God, we could have went turn one dark ritual in tomb exhum. In tomb exhum. But we didn't. So I'm gonna take this terminate out. Yeah. Okay. I like having it. I like having it in the sideboard. I did call your mom a bits last night. Wow. 
I don't like looting. I think between Literal Core and Coligon's Command and uh, Frantic Search, we have enough ways to discard things. I guess so. We only have two creatures that we have to actually discard, and we can still cast them with Thrand Dynamo and stuff. So, And Dark Ritual, so. Well, we can only cast Sphinx of Steel 1 if we have Orzhov Signet currently. Correct. Do we cut that? We could. Do we cut Sphinx and Exhume? And just leave Animate Dead in for, like, the value? And we can bring in, like, Terminate? I would think about just cutting Sphinx entirely and just leaving it as is. Well, if we cut Sphinx, like, I don't think Exhume is very good. Because we don't really have that many creatures that we're, we're wanting to put in the graveyard. Sure. But then we don't have that many ways to do that anyway. We oh, the Shadows. I will, uh... I will purge that from my mind, buddy. Sorry. I feel like if we cut Exhume, like, we might as well just cut Animate Dead and Crystal Brand, like... Unless we're just trying to naturally cast Crystal Brand. Well, we have Animate Dead. Yeah, it's only one, though. I don't see why we can't. We have Dark Ritual, Ors of Signet, and Thrand Dynamo. I don't think 8-mana is really that hard to get to in this cube. So cut Exhume, play what? Terminate? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright. Is that better? I don't even know. I still like the Exhume. But like the, the thing is, the Exhume gets creatures from both graveyards. So, like... Unless you play this super early, they're probably getting a really good creature that you ended up killing back. Sure, but that normally doesn't matter if you're getting Grizzle Brand. I mean, like, if it's... It still matters. Just watched your number four draft on the two. I make dance. What's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We have eight creatures now. We can also just play Sword. Also, it's Sword helps um, Karn's Constructs true i think sword's good well treachery is a creature so really that's nine karn's creatures that's 10 nickel balls can steal a creature that's 11 we have a lot of creature potential anime dead is a creature yeah we could play a sword all right i don't know if this deck is good it's got a lot of good cards in it we're gonna need a lot of swamps here because our we only have two lands that fix for uh Actually, I don't know if we... We're probably going to put one mountain in here, and that's pretty much it. Because all of our lands are, are red. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven red sources, and we only have very few red cards. We're going to need a mountain, though, in case they have, like, Path to Exile, and we absolutely need a red source. So five, six, seven, eight. Eight black sources. You can go to nine there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, nine, six. So this is 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Is that right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 9 blue. 6, 7, 8, 9. I think it's 8, 10. Especially because we have Warzov Signet. So this is 10, 8, 7. It's actually pretty good. God, I do love mountains. I don't know if this deck is good 3 Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Also, it's hard to build. Like, I want the Sphinx of the Steel one in here. Pro Red, Pro Green is very good. So is Vigilance and Lifelink, but... It's a good sideboard. Yeah, if they're playing Red Green, we'll just bring it in. But... I don't know, man. This deck would be so much better than two. Why do you like this? Do you think people like you when you're you like this? listen to me, man. God. That was my first mistake. Um, I think this is Keeper. It's a great hand, yeah. Looter lets us pitch things that are irrelevant. And they went to six. Boy, we just we already won. Now they kept, though. All right, we, we might not have won anymore. Hey, man, how's your water level doing? It's looking pretty dry. Man. Bet you could really go for a nice, cool glass of water, huh? <laughs> No, I'm actually pretty pretty good right now. Dang it. Noble Hierarch, huh? Turn two Noble Hierarch, huh? Okay. I'm re I, I hope they play a Signet. Oh my god, can you imagine? Shoot Signet. Woo. Oh, jeez. Oh, they missed the second land drop to it. So, 
Oh my god. Alright, that's not a signet. Lord knows when the cold wind blows, it'll turn. Oh, I did it again. Okay. Sorry. Done. Out of my head. It was in my head all last week, so. Um. Well, I like a Karn boy. What can we get rid of here? Muldrifter? What, are you crazy? I mean, like... I can see pitching one land. I think it's fine. Which one, though? Swamp. We want double black, though. We have a double black card in hand. So Steam Vents in. Yeah, I don't think we need three blue for anything. So I will... What does MB mean? MB discard drifter. What does MB? Oh, we can actually return it with Colagon's command. Oh, that's true. Yeah, get rid of Mulder. I didn't think of that. Oh, uh, he has Shadow because he's a core. All the cores have Shadow. Come on, you know how Shadows work. Okay, Chad, find a new... Oh, man, if Pernicious Dude is here, he'd be great at that. Um, do you just Colagon's command and kill this? And we have to, right? You don't have to, but I think it's good. I mean, we do. We have to. Oh, no, I'm playing super fan of the old school jazz. He used to play you and me both. Lord knows. Okay, somebody with what with arms wide open. The Creed song <laughs> with arms wide open. Welcome. Why do I know the words to this song? Is that's even because it's a pretty popular song. That's fair. Get you back, shoot your friend. Boy, that's a dark thing to say on Magic the Gathering. All right. Streaming. Oh dang it! Don't ask me that. If you like pina colada with carns wide open. Do you, remember, do you remember Creed? Yes. Is that your favorite band? No. Did you just like them a lot when you went to high school? No. I um, they're okay. You you loved them. Stop it. Are you a big Creed fan? I'm a medium Creed fan. What was your favorite Creed song? Your mom's house. <laughs> Joke's on you. That wasn't even a Creed song. Dummy. God, loot are so good. Look at all these lands we're going to be discarding. Um. Hey, man, are you sure you don't want to get, like, your water looks real low, dude. It doesn't look like you have any water at all, man. Ice here. Dang. Yeah, but that's going to, that's going to run out soon, you know? Aren't you worried about the future? No. I'm a crazy rebel. Oh, this is an easy one, too. Oh, man, you got some juice over there. <laughs> it's like, that's prison water, man. Prison water? Your prison water. We're just going to plus Karn, right? Yeah. Oh, Dreadbore or a Siggy Piggy. Oh, million, millions of peaches. Ashley Simpson? What? That's the President of the United States of... Uh-oh. Oh, God. You ever get that feeling in the pit of your stomach? <laughs> Might be dead here. It's not good. They could have nothing. It's okay. They've only played five so far. They've only paid six. It's only seven mana. Not a big deal. It's only eight. It's okay. It's only... They went to nine. Doing, doing good. Okay, it's only nine mana. Not a big deal. Not worried about... Okay, well, now they're at 10. Oh, lordy. Even if they kill two lands, we get to copy of the sky, which is pretty sweet. But we don't get to cast it. And they still get to XRL our library. Oh, boy. Well, we'll have five cards left. <sighs> Grumpets. Karn and Wandering Fumeral. Cry. They're at eight. Um, on the bright side, they don't kill us, but our Ulamog crackback should kill them. And they have two lands, so it's very possible. Oh, they can still trumpet with their O4. <laughs> we get to cast Necrotol. Yes. Uh, no, we get to Necrotol the O4. Oh god, they're still they're paying more. Oh god. 
Oh god, five? Oh, wow. That's aggressive. <laughs> I mean, they still would have exiled two things. Right, but they wouldn't have an Ulamog on the board. Uh huh. I'm finally not at work while you were streaming, though I'll probably still probably watch this on YouTube later anyway. I'm okay with that. I don't think we're casting the Signet anytime soon. Actually, we can cast it now and play Metamorph, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably what we're doing. Uh, we can just discard Island here. All right. Battle of the Ulamogs. We have 23 cards. We go to three cards, but then we get to crack back and potentially kill you, but I don't think so anymore. Just depends if you have another blocker. Your, your mom's got a blocker. Hmm. Got him. Did we you? got him. I'm not so sure. He's been got. It's game one. Oh, they drew a land. I guess we're dead now. Primeval Titan. Kill us. I don't think that does anything. That would kill us. Well, it wouldn't kill us on the spot, but... But it would kill us. I'll kill you. If they have any other creature, we're dead. Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> Alright, we're in the combat step. Alright, here we go. So long, library. Oh, crying out. Oh, so long, Jace. Oh, Ancestral is still in the library. Oh, great. Well, actually, it's funny because we're real close to actually, if they had, if we drew Ancestral, we could put them to 24 cards. If they had, like, Primeval Titan. Oh, God. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, that's that was a good draw. Or are we? We're looking pretty dead. You don't know what we're looking. Let's keep uh I guess we have a blue in hand. Should be fine. Necrotal. If we evoke Muldrifer and loot, we die. We have two cards in our library. They're at 27, not 22. Well, they're at three. Because if, if they actually activate this guy... Oh, they are they are hardcore mono green. Yeah, block there. No blocks. I accept. Oh, blocks. Mm. Okay. Okay. See, by doing that, we might. They go to four cards. Oh my god, it's gonna be exact. So if we hit like ancestral, it would be hilarious because they would literally go to zero cards. That's actually comical to me. Did that do anything? Not really. No. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Oh, we could have actually, if we mold drifted, we actually would have drawn this. And then we could have gotten rid of the other blocker and won. Yeah, that was, that. that's, that's a misplay. Might as well concede. 
No, you just show them any more cards, right? I want to show them an island. Well, they don't know we have Ancestral right now. Right. So the literal last card in our deck is Ancestral. That's pretty That's pretty comical. God, this guy doesn't do anything, right? Nope. He's indestructible. That's so broken, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we win that game. If we just actually... <laughs> Hilarious. If we just Muldrift her first. I kind of like both of these guys because they're mono green. So we can just tap their things down. Like if they play Ulamog, we can just tap it down for X number of turns. What do we take out for that though? Uh, You know, dirtily cards. Uh... I mean, I'm totally fine with going up to 41 here. And then I'll play Exarch over... I don't know, probably Frantic Search. But then we might as well take out all of our reanimation stuff because we had no way to get things in the yard. Oh, yeah, we do. We got Looter. And our only, like... This this isn't just our reanimation stuff. Like, we can reanimate their stuff, too. We, this is our only reanimation thing. So either Hardcast, Crystal Blair, and we get them back after we discard them. Like... Like, we can also discard a Colagon's Command. Like, if our plan is to reanimate next turn, we can just Colagon's Command. I think this hand is fine. What's our black... What's our black land? Badlands? Mm hmm That's one bad land. Frasca's Contempt does take care of Lamog. Man... That's one bad land. There you go. Turn two Ulamog. And then we just hope for Dark Ritual so we can Jace and bounce it. Nope. Actually, if they turn two Ulamog. Okay, that's not a turn two Ulamog. That, that will get Dreadboard. I guess we'll attack first in case there's a better option. But I have my doubts. Just lands here. Yeah, I think so. All right. Are lands just born bad? That's the question, man. That is the question we ask ourselves. You can't tell if it's the 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 land nurturing or if it's uh, just the way they're the way they're born. Okay, that's a good card. I feel comfortable with it. Look at all these red mana we got with Jace, Mind Sculptor. I'm gonna boy. <laughs> um, it's a May ability. Oh god, it's not. I don't want to discard any of these cards, to be quite honest. I think they're all very good. Then don't attack. Okay. I won't. We're just missing our clock, though, man. Not really. I left a video to catch a stream. Musical Danger. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Avenger. Oh, they played a forest, so that's good. So if it is an Avenger, we can... Okay, two creatures cut from your hand onto the battlefield. This is not as scary right now because we have treachery. Okay, this one's a little scarier, but not really. I mean, we currently have no way to deal with that. Yeah, but we have an Ulamog. So we gain. We can actually Noxious Gear Hulk like the Ulamog next turn. How? We, what do you mean how? exile it? No, we just we're not killing it. We just target it to gain ten life. Oh, sure. oh, it's a creature if, if they're destroyed that way. Never mind. It doesn't. I thought you could just do it, and I'm still gonna take this guy. It's 
draw cards while I can. We're going to sort of... Well, actually, I guess we find out what happens here. Oh, Metamorph! We Metamorph this guy. Sure. Oh, um, yeah. Let's do that, I guess. We played a land this turn. So let's assume... I don't think we need Ancestral right now. Sorting up the looter does what? Yeah, but Ulamog, they can just block Ulamog, right? Slammers McKenzie, I assume you're Willie G, right? What did you say? I thought, I just said we don't need Ancestral right now. Well, he has Shadow, yeah, but the Ulamog doesn't have Shadow. No, we don't need Ancestral. Shooting up the Lure does, more, does do more damage, but metamorphing their progenitus and just making our own metamorph is also pretty good. And I like Gear Hulk in case they play anything else, but we need a second black for Gear Hulk, which is pretty brutal. I think we're going to actually... We're, gonna, we're definitely going to loot here and then just discard Island. So we'll put you and then you. Well, I asked what it did in the contents of... Well, Willie, Willie G said sorting up the looter does it. So I asked what it meant in the context of doing it. What does that entail? And it... And and it does it actually is five five and ten but then like that that presumes that they're they're not going to play any blocker you know what I mean actually we could have just done a Ulmog. why don't we oh it's got it's never mind it's legendary <laughs> that would have been really bad oh man that would have been terrible second Ulmog does not work because legendary I literally just yeah. Sort of progenitus protection from everything. What else would it do, though? Does it need to do anything else, I wonder? If they play any creature that has two or more power, we get to uh, Noxious Gear Hulk, which is pretty strong. They're going for it. Not, not killing Jace, either, so they're definitely going for it. Oh, boy. Yeah, the blocker has to have three or more toughness is really the problem. Oh, it looks like it's going to be something nice. Interesting. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. I've never seen that happen before. It's normally something to get that. Usually it's bad. Yeah, usually it's the other way around. <laughs> All right, well, that's a thing. I have no idea what's happening right now, but... Yeah, we have Ancestral and Jace, so we're drawing a total of seven cards next turn. Three from Ancestral, one from the draw, and then three from... One from our natural draw and three from Jace. So the odds of us hitting a... Uh, Terastodon. That's not good. That's not good. They can't hit this guy. They're probably going to hit Treachery. That's it. Force will when you need it. But they don't have they don't have Progenitus in play actually, so that's actually okay. Maybe. Yep, Treachery and Jace and their own Basalt Monolith. Where's what when you need it? Force of Will. Force of Will would be good. Noxious Gearhulk killing this guy is pretty insane though, right? It's not bad. But here's the problem. Actually, there's a DC Rex Arc on top, so we can just tap down the Ulmog. Yeah. That was perfect. Um, that actually should do it. Because we can Deceiver Rex Arc, tap down the Ulmog. Um, attack for 10, attack for 10. Yeah. Yep. All right. Also going to attack here and see what happens. Yeah, this is why we put the Deceiver X arcs in the deck, so that's actually pretty sweet. Um, I kind of want to hit lands here. Like next turn, we can Necrotal Island as well. I don't think Karn's doing us any favors here. Oh, they also have one card in hand. Yeah, I think this game's over. Their own progenitus, hoisted by their own progenitus. Just don't mess up. Make sure if a cool creature would die, shuffle it into its owner's graveyard into its library. Uh, well, Progenitus doesn't shuffle the graveyard, just just itself. What'd you say? So just don't mess up. It's funny if I actually accidentally clicked through the combat step just, just to be like, what'd you say? I was too busy asking you what you said, uh, and then I accidentally clicked through when you said don't mess up. 
That would be that would be legendary. <laughs> oh, I did the exact thing you told me not to do because I was asking you what you said. All right, so we have to block this guy. Sounds good. Also, that sword can never be equipped to anything ever. <laughs> it just falls off. As soon as you equip it, it falls off. Dang it. This is the dumbest sword ever. I have Progenitus, so... Unless you're gaining three life, four life this turn. Let's pack it up. You need to gain five, actually, because we have Looter Core. That's true. You can actually. also equip the looter with a sword, so he'd have to gain even more than that. Uh, yeah, actually, looter alone is dealing one, two, three. Looter alone is dealing five, so you have 15 on board, so you have to gain eight. Which seems like a tough sell. Did they see Sword of Fire and Ice last game? Are we free to play it here? Because if... I can't imagine what they'd have, though. Fog. Oh, they did not. They, they, they did nothing. Okay, sounds good. All right. Whew, man, these games have been nuts. I almost kind of like the Abyss, but... Ugh. It's four mana. Seems like it's too late once that happens. It's too late, man. Because uh, their big boys don't care about it. Jeez, uh, do we just submit like this? I think so. God, I'm scared of the Ulamog, and I'm scared of the Progenitus. P -p -p Progeny and the Jets. We have a Mana Leak. Can we just get our Mana Leak so that they don't Progenitus us? Or Channel? Yeah, we're like Stone Dead as a Channel. <laughs> the Super XR gave Ulamog some trial mix to hold him over. Hey man, just snack. Hungry? Have a Snickers. Uh, I actually like this hand because we can go turn one Vampiric Tutor for, like, Mana Leak. You think that's good? Desperate times. I mean, it's definitely desperate times, but... Alright, alright. They got a one-turn window. Up, 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 any in the Jets. No beats. This is draft number dose. We went 3 0 in our first one. Here comes the channel. Ch -ch -ch channel in the Jets. That's not a channel. Okay. The problem is they're getting out of Mana Leak range very quickly. Yep. Oh, God. It's even worse now. Oh, do you channel now? Oh, God. Okay. None of these... Oh, they have two cards in hand. All right, Mana Leak's looking pretty bad here. Do we still... Do we still tutor here? The problem is we need to find an answer. Do we electrolyze still? No, that'd be sick, though. Well, this this guy's going to get sacked anyway. So they're going to have one, two, three, four, five mana. Actually, they're not out of range of Mana Leak yet, I don't, I don't think. And if they had channel, they would have played it right there. Yeah, they definitely would have played it. I think we get Mana Leak here. Okay. I could also see getting... Uh, um, what's it called? Dark Ritual. <laughs> so we can Dark Ritual a Treachery out in a turn or so. M -m -m Michael and the Jets... So right, yeah, like so they have three, four, five mana. They have to have seven mana to uh, be able to nit natural order and and pay for mana leak. So that's pretty good. That's fine. I almost want to counter that, but good lord. Alright. 
They have one card in hand, so... I mean, if it's natural order... They got us. I mean, they played around it perfectly. They waited until they had seven. They could also have nothing. Seven mana. Here we go. Something's happening. Basalt Monolith one time. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Woo! Got the value off that Avenger. Or that Mana Leak, rather. Okay, now I'm feeling a lot better about our situation. I'll keep the double blue up, you know, because we have Mana Leak, or Mana, mana Drain, so I don't want to... Mm -hmm. wanna, yeah, that makes sense. I want to. I don't want to throw them off. Avenger of the trash can. <laughs> More like Oscar. Oscar of Zendikar. Get wow. in the garbage, Grouch. Oh, this is desperation right there. Oof. All right, we need a fifth land here. It's not a fifth land or a creature we can cast. We could probably pitch that Gristle Brand. I mean, you're right, but I don't like it. Because it hurts my soul. Just play Sword. That's what I'm, I mean, that's all we're gonna that's all we can do. That's all we can do. We, we are can start picking off his bros next turn. You're right. And when you're right, you're right. Come on. Seriously? Why? So they top deck channel or a creature that goes with channel? Yeah. That's ridiculous, dude. Uh, have I played Crackline Ironworks in Modern? Yeah, I have a while ago. I mean, it hasn't been recently, but I, I pretty much played If there's a Modern Archetype, I pretty much play it. Every time. I imagine they hit two lands here because that would put us way out of the game. And we tried to find it, but we didn't find it. Yep. That's really annoying. Yep. Oh, they got more. Oh, they beast within our other land. <laughs> Phenomenal. Can't even. Yep. Of five cards. That's so dumb. I wonder if it's actually better to put this on there. Um, because we would have built an extra four points, so they would have went to six, but that's still like one point shy of actually doing the job next turn. All right. So long, deck. I don't think there's anything we can actually do here. Yeah, we just can't be channel. Like, that's... It's not possible for us. Hey! Yeah, we could fade a turn. Maybe we can win this game. But they have no cards in hand. This is five and then five. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shoot their face. Does it... Do we go to a draw, though? We 
What? Because we're gonna have one card in our deck. Actually, we we put the looter we put the looter trigger after, so it should be actually fine. Everybody's saying one time. I don't understand. We have we have to see Rex Ark in hand. Tap this idiot. They have eight mana. I guess we're just hoping they didn't draw Terastodon, like off the top. Just to rip a sick Terastodon. It wouldn't be their first sick rip. Because Sword of Feast and Sword of Fire and Ice to resolve, we have to draw a card from it. Um, so if we drew a card from this and from this, we'd actually die because we only have one card when this happens. Um, but if we put this Sword of Fire and Ice trigger first. They'll take three, they'll take two from Sword of Fire, we'll draw our last card, and then this trigger won't resolve yet, so we actually have to stack it. Wow, those games were insane! Did we just win two games where they actually had Ulamog and Progenitus out, and like, our, like Deceiver, Exarch, and, and Pestermite actually bought us the time? Yeah. Those are six sideboards, man. Wow, that worked out insane. Those games were good. The goodest of games. They're good games, Brent. My god. And we even misplayed, actually, in the first time when we could have, um... Was there, was, was there something we could have done? We didn't do it? Probably. Okay, good talk, good talk. I'm too tired to know. Hey, man, look, you're out of ice now, bro. I know. You better get a refill. If I go to that fridge, I'm going to my room and sleeping. <laughs> so dang. I hate how uninteract. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like when people are talking about how how uninteractive Vintage Cube is. Like at any given point, we had about three or four lines we could have taken. There's so many things. Even though there's like a big people confuse big splashy plays like Channel into Ulamog with uninteractive, and it's just not true because not only was were the games really interactive, but I also had great sideboarding options as well. Like. Pester might deceive Rex Arc to tap down their guys. Like, there was a lot of things you could do at any given time. Also, if I lost the first game, I felt like it was my fault because uh, I there was definitely a misplay there. I forgot what it was. All right, well, stuff like this is pretty sad, but we can draw land here. If we get Volcanic Island, we have Swamp on top. We can actually Kolagon's Command ourselves to discard Gristlebrand. And reanimate it if that does anything for you. Seems pretty good. I've seen worse. Well, I'm gonna fetch now, but maybe we don't fetch now. Actually, yeah, I see what you're saying. You didn't want us to shuffle the swamp. I get that, but we were on the draw, so no such risk, my friend. I love the turn two arbor elves. It makes me feel good. I'm an idiot who's never cracked a fetch in my life. Fantastic. Good times, good times. All right, we're doing it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I, I need you to be ready. Target player discards a card. I'll choose myself, end of turn. Oh, they, oh, they put this on turn one. I didn't even see that. Another mono green deck, eh? Nope. Maybe not. Spoke too soon, my, my boy. Yeah, and, and the nice thing is we can get we can get steam vents now, so we don't have to take damage. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, assault high, bro. How nice. Spell skite. Yeah, that's fine. We can't do anything about that. We can actually destroy that with Kolagon's command if we'd like. Oof, aggressive. Let's get an old steamy McVenterson. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess next turn we can go animate Dead Ores off Signet, so that's okay. Oh, 
Uh, we're actually going to discard Gristlebrand and reanimate it next turn. That's our play. So. Yeah, that's fine. They have three cards. Not a huge deal. I guess we could have attempted it. We actually could have Colagon Command now. Um, because it forces them to redirect to pay two. But I'd rather wait till the end step because they are playing blue lands. So. Four, five mana. Thrag Tusk. Oh, that's going to get destroyed for sure. And maybe they'll forget. They're not going to forget. Maybe they will. Uh, target player discards a card. Choose myself. Destroy this. Maybe they forget. You don't know. They also have one card in hand. So that's pretty cool. Redirect to my spell Skeety. Got him to take two damage. Sucker. OP. You got it. I mean, they can put, uh... Batter skull. What? What? They might have. What? I don't know how that worked. Wait, hold on. Target. Does it say target spell? Ability. They might not have been able to redirect it because I was also a target on the spell. That's interesting. Hmm. Might just be a moto bug. You're a moto bug. Wow. Yeah. Deal with it. They also might have clicked on it incorrectly. I don't know. Magic Online's hard, man. Either way, I got a Gristle Brand, so. That's a good card. Hey, man, you ever draw seven before? Sometimes. I was a little concerned with them putting Batter Skull on this guy because that's just five damage. Uh oh. And they discard a duplicate, which is cool because that's a good answer for this guy. All right, that's fine. Obnoxious, but fine. Oh, actually, would they kill us with our own gristle brand? Don't they? Depends on what our life total is. We can also bounce. We can just Jason bounce our own gristle brand. Let's attack first, right? Maybe. Let's. I'll just draw. Whatever. I'm gonna draw anyway. We can actually treachery the spell skite. Two, three, four, five. Which we might have to do because if they if we try to bounce our own our own guy, they might actually uh redirect. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys saying right now? I have no idea what's going on in chat right now. Yeah, either way we're attacking, so. Yeah, but they can get us down to two, and then they can also, like, we don't get a turn after that, right? So we would be tapped out. They could make sure that, and uh, then they could just tap all our things down, which is not really that fun. So, I, I don't know. I think I feel safer. Just... Playing. I'm going to tap everything. Treachery this guy. Um, one, two. So we have six mana. We can do whatever we want with it, I guess. We can... Okay. So we can Noxious Gearhulk here, too? I guess we just Jace. Yeah, let's not die. Yeah, I mean, this just feels safer. Do we also cast Vampiric Tutor to get something, like, harmless? Do we have anything in our deck that would actually kill this? Because we can Vampiric Tutor and draw seven more. I think we just find out first. I paid a black I didn't need. 
Dreadboard doesn't do it. Ancestral doesn't do it. Um, Metamorph, actually. One, two, three. We're too shy. Oh, that would have been sick. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. They can't cast Nicobolus, which is good. They get whatever we tutor for, right? But I can just put, like, an island on top. I'm really... We have a bunch of stuff in hand. I'm actually afraid of what they can possibly do here. And also, my the point is, they don't they don't get whatever we tutor for because we can actually just Gristle Brand to draw it. Or we can Jace to draw it. So I'm not really super concerned with that. Well, we have to use Jace to bounce our Gristle Brand. Actually, yeah, I was going to say we can, we can do the Animate Dead, but then that's just actually almost better. Oh, God, this is actually really tough. I don't want to die here, but I'm not sure if there's any way around it. You just bounce your own gristle, man. What are you talking about? You're absolutely dead on board because you took the skite? Oh, that's actually a good point. <laughs> oh, that's oh like... yeah, skite. Well, we're at, no, we're not even life total. We're fine. Seven fourteen. No, they can actually deal us fourteen with our own gristle brand and then attack well, us. With why don't you just bounce your own gristle brand with Jace? Because we have to get rid of the spell skite. They no, could put we... us to one and then they should hit us with the, hit this oh, guy. Sure. Do you have any way to kill a looter? I mean, we probably do, but I really want to kill the spell skite. To be quite honest, I guess we can just get a dread bore. Sure. Is that good? The problem is like our life total is so weird right now because it's a we can they can go draw seven draw seven, kill us with looter. This is so weird, man. <laughs> I don't think we actually have anything to do here. Does metamorph do it? What does that do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're just dead. It's only 12.45 here. It's actually not that late. I'm going to take my time doing this because this is actually pretty relevant. Um, oh, actually, Tudor, we're going to take two from. I forgot about that. We're going to be at 13. So we just actually have to get rid of Spellskite. How do we do that? Dreadbore? Yeah, I'll do it. We need... Yeah, but we don't have the mana for it. Oh, actually, we can... Get rid of this guy. Get rid of black floating. We're fine. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll dread bore. One, two, three. Cast with evoke. Uh, we'll use the blue and the red. Dread bore on spell skite. We're at 13. All right, we did it. Which means we should have never took it in the first place. Um, maybe. Whew. All right, dear God, the uninteractivity. If only there was some way to interact in this game. Yeah, I had like nineteen different choices to make there, which is insane. Yep, you got it. All right, so we go to 11. Actually, then we go to 7, and then they just attack us with Lumbering Falls and these two again. Oh, but then we... Yeah, yeah. That's... God, it's still so bad. Yeah, we pay seven, we go to four, and then they have literally a bunch on board. That's brutal. Oh, but actually it goes back to our turn. So they either have to attack or we can block Lumbering Falls. So that's actually not terrible. Yeah, and if he wants to hit himself for six, he can go ahead. <laughs> actually no we, if he puts himself to, if he hits him for 6 we go to 13 and then they can use 7 again so we go up to yeah I guess that's still fine we go up to 6 and then they only have 5 on board so 
Yeah, this is confusing. There's a lot of things going on right now, and I don't understand them, any of them. Can you crack that? Yeah, you can actually crack that, and you can't get a steam vents, though, so that's good. Oh, they can cast Metamorph, put us to one. Yep, and then they kill us with looter. Wow. Mind Slaver is a hell of a card. It's pretty good. It normally wins you the game. Yeah, they can also Jace Bounce Gristlebrand, so. Ooh. I'm surprised because they, uh, I feel like they didn't, they didn't do much except, for, it's funny because they didn't do much except for Mind Slaver and then they just killed us with our own cards. So that's actually kind of funny. Bono dump. How are you feeling, man? That's why I am. I'm pretty dead. This is super early for you. As an early in the morning? Yeah, it's early in the morning. No, I mean, this is early at night for you. Like, I'm surprised how much things have changed since you get a job that you got to wake up early for. Yeah, well, soon that'll be changing. Ch -ch changing soon. It will be changing. Ch changing. Yep, that'll do. Should we take out all the cards that are bad against uh No. Mind Slaver? It's like every card in our deck. You're right. <laughs> They're all very powerful wizards. Alright, so Gristlebrand's pretty bad. Uh, when they have don't take taking spell skate was probably the the downfall. I guess we could have taken looter real quick. Like does any anything we treachery they just redirect to spell scout anyway, right? So <laughs> sure. Yeah, we're gonna scoop here. I've seen enough, my friend. Anything, anything? Terminate, maybe? I think Terminate's probably pretty good here. God, I wish I had another artifact removal spell. Like a like a Manic Vandal would be great here. I'll keep this because of Mana Leak and Karn. And if we can Mana Leak something good from them, we can animate that, so... Not not entirely dead. You alright? You okay with that? No. You dying? Yeah. I think it'll be okay, man. I'm gonna have to pack it in. Alright, well, that's your choice. It's a lot of black mana. But it is also a Karn. So we got that going for us. Yeah, I mean, even either way, like, even that last game, I don't feel bad about losing because I feel like there was a line we could have taken to, to win, you know? I feel like I'm more in control of Vintage Cube matches. I feel like there's more things that I can do to, to affect the outcome. As opposed to like a Dominaria draft where I'm like, oh, I drew a 2-2 when you have a Traxos on board. Okay. You got me. <laughs> That's correct. I cannot beat that. Whereas like in Vintage Cube, you're like, oh, I drew a Vampiric Tutor. Oh, and I have Jace Van Vrin's Prodigy on board so I can immediately draw whatever I get. AJ is metal. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. These are changing my opinion on Vintage Cube. That's pretty sweet. I'm a huge fan of Vintage Cube. I think it's I think it gets a bad reputation because people hear the word vintage and they just get immediately afraid of it. And they're like, oh, it's got to be completely uninteractive and fast and turn two wins, and it's just not the case. For every turn two win you have, you have tons of answers for those cards as well. I'm going to actually mana leak this. 
Unless you want your mana leak to be terrible. Right, exactly. Because this literally gives you the mana to pay for mana leak. And we also have... We're going to play Karn next turn. We have a neck... Oh. I see. Well, that's interesting. Can I get... That was pretty good. There's going to be a turn where we can go uh, terminate animate dead. That's a good one. Hypnotic or Jace? <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Next time Couldn't we can just... cast Jace anyway, stupid. Yeah, joke's on you. I don't even have two islands. I agree with you. I think, yeah, just even normal vintage is super interactive. People just don't know that because vintage has, like, this stigma to it. But, yeah, vintage games last significantly longer than you would think. Oof. All right, that's fine. Hmm. Let's do one of these jobbies again. Oh, two lands. Perfect. Oh, you give me the bad lands. That's real mature. How rude. That was rude. I like terminating this guy and... Uh... No? Wait, what was I going to do? I want to get rid of both these guys. Terminate this guy. Necrotal this guy, but I don't have the mana to do these things. Correct. <laughs> Sad. So they can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and equip it to this guy. Hmm. Actually, we can go terminate, play a blocker. I guess we'll do that. I think the important thing is getting this steam vents, and if we draw a dark ritual, we are in what's known as good shape. We could have waited for combat. I don't know why we didn't do that. I'm thinking of Dreadbore, so I'm like, oh, it's not a sword, it's not an instant. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> oh, they just bounced it and they're gonna replay it. Oh, that's even better. That's even Oh, that's fantastic for us. Oh, I could not have asked for something better than that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Dark nickel dark ritual. Dang it, you're not a dark ritual at all. Dang it. Dang it, dark ritual. Did we get Jace and just bounce the germ? Seems pretty good. Jace goes to two then, so we have to keep a blocker back. It's fine. Let's go get a volcanic island. Boop. Uh, no attacks. I do not make any attacks. Uh, I prefer vintage. Um, it's outlandish enough that I get to do cooler things, and Legacy is kind of like Legacy is kind of grindy. I think Legacy is actually less interactive than Vintage. <laughs> you know, it's really not interactive. Tell me, Modern No Ban List. That's that is actually a kind of ridiculous format. They have two they had cards. Had an SCG in. last week. It was ridiculous. You what? They had an SCG. Oh last yeah, week. yeah. Oh, they're going to bounce my guy and kill my Jace. That's sad. I agree with you. Quick, do something about it. I can't. No. Sorry. We're only two men away from Nicol Bolas. That's pretty good. We're one Dark Ritual away from Nicol Bolas, too. That's pretty good, too. Where's my Dark Ritual? I'm getting real tired of it. Maybe we'll get it. Metamorph and Polluted Delta. I assume you're giving me the Delta. What can we get with this? Anything good? A swamp or an island. <laughs> so the answer is no, huh? Okay. Still think you should have played it. 
Well, I'm actually going to play Necrotal and Hypnotic Spectre. Kill this guy and then just play Hippie. And then next turn we can Nickel Bolas. How's that sound? Good? Okay. Sounds decent. Unless they have Mind Slaver, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, they actually have mana to Mind Slaver and activate Mind Slaver. No, this, this time they probably won't kill us. Well, one can only hope. This is where they go immediately tap. Mister's Workshop is not a fair card. Oh, they're just going to... Oh, this is fantastic. If they just keep bouncing and replaying, I'm okay with that. They might... I don't think they know that you can just equip that. <laughs> yep, you got it. Oh, yeah, we're done. This game's over. He proclaimed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They still have nine mana, so if we exile... Oh, well, that's that changes things, I guess. What do we have? Steam Vents and Metamorphos? <laughs> so I got enough black. We'll just get an island here, unless we have... Yep, just... All right. I'm pretty sure we take the Death Ray Shaman and... Oh, dang it. Because this puts them off 10 mana, which is the which is what I'm trying to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that if they... Uh, if they play... What's it called? Mind Slaver. They can't activate it in the same turn, which gives us a chance to destroy it with Nicol Bolas. Because I think one of the only things we die to here is Mind Slaver. I don't care about their battle skull though. Their battle skull's irrelevant. The one card we care about is Mind Slaver utterly destroys us if they get a Mind Slaver down on us. And I guess I guess we can attack with this guy. And if if we got the bird instead, we could have gotten there for free and just discard it. But they could just draw it. So I don't think it's anything now. Island, sure. As entertaining as it is, they keep returning and playing it. Yeah, that is... Uh, we do lose the entertainment value of that happening, so that's unfortunate. Karn and Nicol Bolas together again for the first they time. Put... What? Oh. I was going to say, if they put Batterskull on the bird, that'd actually be pretty good. It still doesn't kill either of our Planeswalkers, though. That game went better. I agree. I almost kind of like Avalanche Riders just to kill their, like, Mishra's Workshop. Sure. Are they playing, like, a three-color Mishra's Workshop deck? Because that's kind of funny. I also think, don't think we've drawn Thran Dynamo once. I could see cutting Thran Dynamo. Doesn't show up? Fine. Get out of the deck. I don't need you. See Clearly, I don't need you anyway. If they play a land, they can still mind slaver. No, they only had they only, they had eight sources. So they they would have to have two two sources. Ooh, I don't know about this hand. Yeah, I don't either. This has potential. This does actually have. You don't. <laughs> you need to go. I mean, even if we have to vampiric for a blue source, if there's a blue source on top, that'd be great. Let's just vampiric for a hippie. Go for it. Is that too aggressive, though? I like being aggressive. <laughs> yeah, we can actually go Hippie and then play Fumeral next turn. Why not? Well, no. No reason at all. Yeah, that's actually... And it's random discard? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm on board, man. Plus, we have most of our colors now, anyway, so... He even tapped out. What a sucker. We could also just get Ancestral here. <laughs> no way, man. Let's do no, it. No, man. Let's play some 1995. <laughs> Got him! We literally just played it one turn sooner. And we wasted Vampire Tutor and Dark Ritual to do it. All right. Worth. I mean, it's it's random discard, which is very strong. Also, you know what happens if we if it doesn't work out? Oh, well. 
This is so weird they're playing three colors in their Misha's Workshop deck. It is pretty weird. Plus, we've seen, like, two artifacts. I think it's Mind Slaver and literally... Um... Batter Skull. How do they have so much mana? What happened? Because they played Search and Sakura Tribe Elder. Wow, and both of these are just mana, guys. What's even happening? You have two cards in your hand. About to be one card in hand. Right. Like, so if one of them is good, we have a 53% chance of hitting it. Oh. That's the one they wanted to play. One, two, boy. three, four, five, six, seven. That's a spicy meatball. That was a spicy meatball. I'm going to play Scalding Tarn now because I don't care if you ramp into that. Wow, dude. Oh my god. You know how many things had to go Derelict's right? Derelict's in there. <laughs> turn three, Karn. <laughs> and then I'm like, you mean Karn in the graveyard? It was turn four, Karn, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Did they, they don't have Ugin, I guess. They just untapped the forest that was not tapped. That's good. Which is why they have... Okay, well, that was... That's good, but you're just giving me more things to hit. <laughs> Even more. Actually, it was turn four, Connor, and it was worse than modern. Only by a little bit. Yeah, only by one turn. It's okay, we had a Hypnotic Spectre, so the game turned out fine. You know... Like most modern matches do, when you have Hypnotic Spectre off of Dark Ritual. I'm almost tempted to not crack this fetch just because I don't want them to have an extra mana for like a counter spell or something stupid, so. Let's see what happens. So they only have one mana up, which is nice. Come on, Mind Slaver. Daddy needs a bide slaver. Good job. Nailed it. Universe is a simulation, guys. Just to be clear. I, uh, that's... That's something. That is something. That's oh. frantic search. Right now? Yeah. We can wait. Oh, actually, we get to untap, don't we? I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to crack this first. We'll get another blue source. We'll get a volcanic island. And one, two, three. I was like, why are we going to do it now? We c hey, what up, boy? Let's play that. I like that they highlight our opponent's lands. They're like, do you want to tap these? No, man, I'm good. Wow. Oh, you're going with the Fate Seal, huh? Yeah, because they... Oh. Um... Let's put that on the bottom. Yes, put you on the bottom. Let me go take my blue pills. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll Frantic Search, go to my last two cards to Jason Mind Sculpture. Oh, they're doing something. Oh, they're probably just... Yeah, they're just going to remove something else, too. Seems good. All right, so we got rid of Mind Slaver and Karn, which is pretty impressive. So let's hope they don't have any more Windmill Haymaker boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They also have 10 mana on board, which is hilarious because that is literally Mind Slaver plus... That's Mind Slaver plus activation mana. Oh, man. Not my... Not my Jasons McMasons. I, too, have a Karn. He's a little weaker, but... Are you just going to draw here? Yeah. I guess we have a lot of good cards in our deck. So, okay. Hey, let's draw them all. Um, I think we put this guy and then this guy. So then we can go this guy. Hit a land. Ideally, the third card will be a land because we're kind of owed one at this point. Nope, just Gristlebrand. Easy discard, though. So now we're going to try to hit another land. And now we can probably play Hippie here. My Karn is slightly smaller, but yeah, I've never heard any complaints. 
Yep, that's working out well. All right. Actually, do we just want Hypnotic Spectre again? Put that pressure. I like it. Oh, they're just going to... All right, I guess that's the end. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Oh, it's an anime Ooh. dead on the top. Oh, boy. Wow. These games have been very strange in the sense that, like... Our losses have been very weird. Like, our first round, our loss was to, like, Progenitus and Ulamog. Our second round, our losses to literal just Mind Slaver when they have it. This deck is kind of interesting. Like, I feel like it's not great, but it's also doing a lot of work. Hmm. It's a little suspect. It is a little suspect, especially because of that Gristly B. All right, this is good. I'm going to keep this because of Hypnotic Spectre. Yeah, seems good. These games are definitely good. This is why I love Infinity Cube, because you never know how things are going to turn out. It's not like you're just... You're back and... You're boring back and forth games. You're, just... uh, you're playing against literally Magic the Gathering. Well, it's Gathering. Gathering. Oh. <laughs> it's still hilarious. What's going on with that name, boy? Nicobolus. Sword's good. This guy's never surviving, right? Also, what other two? What was this? Island Mountain? Sword? Okay, seems good. Uh, seem pretty good, boss. Oh, and they missed the land drop. Oh. Oh. What's going on right now? This is all very strange. Oh my goodness. Oh, so it's just the Grixis mirror match? Also, if we draw a Nicol Bolas, we can just almost cast it now. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> sure. You know what? I'll burn a point here just so we can keep our colored mana up. So we just gave our Hypnotic Spectre pro blue, pro red against the deck Seems that has pretty good. islands and mountains out okay it's all coming together now isn't it isn't it hey it's all coming together now isn't it um just ancestral ourselves here why not I feel like we do <laughs> <laughs> yeah do it I was just tempted to play the signet first but I, honestly I don't even think I need to and if they have four spiker days, I don't need to get blown out by that. Well, this is awkward. Oh, boy. No, man, he's got this. Having a good time. I think we, I think we forgot to play a land, even. Yeah, we oh, didn't even no. play a land that turn. Man, you're terrible. Good lord. I got so distracted by the 4-4 uh, that attacked, made them discard a card at random. The card we drew, the Ancestral Recall we cast, and the Animate Dead we played on their Gristle Brand. I just got really distracted. Okay. All right. All right. I actually like Grave Robber here to exile their creatures. Feels like they're doing some kind of shenanigans. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Boy, having a good time. That was quite the game. That was us. quick, man. That was quick for us, too. So not, you can... Not so good for our opponent. Your bedtime's coming soon now. Yeah. Michael's little bedtime. <sighs> Have you ever had a bad game of Cube in the last 20 minutes? Not in the last 20 minutes, no. I think the all tonight... Tonight's been great. We're like 5... We're 5 -oh right now, so... Casual 41 cards is correct. Uh, I like Phantasmal Image when they have... Yeah, I'll just keep this hand. We also have double black here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Intriguing. 
Well, it was a good game. It w but it was not good game. It was bad game. This is where we died at Pack Rat. Oh, you can kill one, right? Yeah, you can kill one, but the problem is that there's more than one. Oh. Okay, well, that was amazing. He could have won the game and said he chose to lose the game. <laughs> what a dumb choice. Like, if he actually makes Rad Token there, like, I don't actually know how we win this game. I don't either. I was thinking that. I'm like, well, this is going to be really hard to deal with if they just make a rat here. I have no idea. The greed is real. I guess they could make shift. Sure. We could make one of those. Yeah, but they can just shoot it and it dies immediately. True. So, not as good. But we can do it. It is an option. I don't think we're really scared of, L of Olivia here. I mean, like, it is going to kill us. Well, we have Noxious Gear Hulk. Next time we go Thren Dynamo into Noxious Gear Hulk, and that's pretty good. They can also shoot their own Liliana twice, or their own Olivia twice. Oh, no play. So we're going to get Volcanic here because we want double red, double blue. That is reasonable. So if we just draw Nickel Boss off the top, that'd be pretty sick, right? We can just steal their Olivia. They missed three land drops as well. Um, sure, I'll just split it like this. You can either have spells or lands. Yep, figured you take island, island swamp. You played swamp. Oh, I guess I guess I get to see. That's nice. Thank you. Get rid of you. Draw Nicol Bolas. That's still an hey, option. That ain't bad. It's an option, but we can't cast it anymore, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, one, two, three, four. No, we can't. Still gonna do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can Vampiric Tutor for Nicobolus after killing their Olivia. That seems pretty good, right? It's not bad. Frank at it again, trying to get in the called, called it bucks. Hey, buddy, I've been calling it long before Rob was calling it. I have a whole universe as a simulation theme on YouTube and is like 15 videos long, man. And Just from my get another entry tonight. There's like a million, but nobody clips them. Like, if no one's around to clip them, then they just, they just don't exist anymore. Wow, the double mocks. You got it. There's an island that we knew about. So you have one island and four other cards. Hmm. So I just get to steal that, right? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Uh, Nick Bolas, not close. Land, just in case they have something. Oh, this gentleman. So if we attack, we don't lose Nicol Bolas, so that's pretty good. And this guy has Menace, so you can double block him if you'd like. If they end up killing this guy with, like... If they end up reanimating it to kill our Grave Titan, we get to Kolagon's Command it and get back something. Or just make them discard. We can also Phantasmal Image the Grave Titan and have double Grave Titan. Or Phantasmal Image this guy just to gain some more life. I will block. They've not played a land yet. Sounds good. I will copy it with Fantastic. I could just gain control of that. No, not yet. I can't. Not yet. Frantic search first. That seems okay. 
I want to tap some more land. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, probably getting rid of looter. Yeah. Um, what if we? Can we just? Phantasmal Image, copy this, kill this? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Um, get rid of Island for sure, right? Yeah, Island Looter. Actually, Badlands is probably worse than Island. One, two, three. Destroy Signet. It's probably better to just destroy Island, right? Yeah, I guess. What if we destroy Island in Signet? Or Mox. Hmm. A lot of things we can do here. <laughs> We're actually one man. Did we play a land this turn? Because we can actually just cast Gristlebrand ourselves. They did not draw cards. But I guess that makes sense because they take 11 here. 12, 13. Oh, they're so close to dead. It's kind of funny. Oh, we gain control of it actually, so I'm just gonna steal your island. Nope, it just destroys it. I don't know why you think you can get Oh, because I'm thinking of the creature. Never mind. Yeah. Do we just cast our own Gristlebrand here? Why of not? course we do. Let's make his demon <laughs> let's make his uh his damnation really juicy. I mean, we call Ligon's command, get something back, and we still have Nicol Bolas on board, so... Yeah, we'd be fine, but I'm just saying. I don't know if the Gristle Brand was necessary. Well, we get to draw seven, so we get to fill our hand. We could do that next turn, too, but this turn we get to untap into a full board, so... so they have three have not been super close, so I'm going to be honest. I feel like they should have been closer, but they have not been. And that's the end. Another beautiful 3-0. Vintage Cube is fun, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. Uh, check me out on Patreon, too. I definitely have been, have been producing unique and exclusive content there as well for a, a low, as low as a dollar a month, which is basically nothing. And uh, you can find all those links in the description below. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, take it easy.